Is this? Oh. It is on. Okay. Nice. I have come before you today, and I'm ready to answer the questions for this q and I'm about to be late for work, but you know, it is what it is. Hi. How are you? You doing good? That's good. I'm glad. I'm happy to see that you're feeling well. So, first question. What is your recorder slash editor? And will you ever react to your first video? Congrats. Hold on, what? Hold up. Wait a minute. What is... What's... 07? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what that means. If you're watching this, tell me what that means real quick. Because I don't even know what that is. Wow! But congrats. I'll be here for the whole journey. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you'll be here for all of this, you know, all of this, this, this glorious purpose. <laughs> I've been watching too much Loki, he says, that he's like, I've been burdened with glorious purpose. But, on to your question. The recorder that I use is OBS right now. I've been flip-flopping between NVIDIA Shadowplay and OBS Recorder. Just because OBS, I can do things like isolate audios with different audio cables. So like if I record a collab, I can have my Discord audio on its own track in the editor. And I can add effects to the audio if I want to. And if I need to raise someone's voice up, I can. If I need to lower it, I can. Equalize, all of that. But for now, I'm using OBS. For the editor, I'm using Premiere Pro and After Effects. I used to use Vegas for a really long time. I switched to Premiere Pro because I felt like After Effects had some effects that I could use in the future and in kind of the now. But stuff that you can do in After Effects, you can also do in Vegas. You just need plugins, which you still use plugins in Premiere. So it's not like you need After Effects. You can edit in anything anything as far as my first video i'm definitely gonna react to it i actually go back from time to time whenever i finish a video i put you know a lot of effort into it so that way i can go back and i can watch it and feel good about it and be like damn that was a good video you know on to life <laughs> and that comment was from donnie games appreciate you my g you know thanks for sticking around i'll holler at you later next comment is from brian thomas Whoa, they're all looking kind of jacked, my guy. What well, you know what I'm saying? I be doing my thing, you know. I ain't gonna just, let me just flex on y'all real quick. And I, y I ain't, I'm not gonna do you like that, but shoot. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, hold up. Oh, you see that? A lemon pulled up. What are some things that generally make you sad? It can be anything. Hmm, this is a good question. What makes me sad is when I go outside, I lock the door, you know, I make sure I have everything in my pockets just to realize that I left my keys in the house and I got to ring the doorbell to get back in. Wait a damn minute. That genuinely makes <laughs> me sad. Damn. I get sad when people, you know, eat Doritos and they don't just pour the chips in their mouth. They like put their hand in the bag and then they get this Cheeto dust everywhere and then they just start enchanting things with the Cheeto dust. And I'm just like, bro, just pour it in your mouth, man. Like, it's your bag of chips. You're not sharing it with anybody. Why would you do that to yourself? Like, why would you subject your fingertips, your phalanges to such just gore? It's, it's gore. Like, come on, come on, dude. What are you doing? Just pour them in your mouth. It's easier. It saves you and me trouble. Anyway, it's no more enchantments. Next question is max out them handstand push-ups, man. Okay, I can move my camera. Y'all not gonna be able to hear me though. More so like this basketball I bought that the other day. This pencil, I used it for a TikTok skit, set it on the wall, yada yada yada. Can you see me though? You know? Some of y'all, matter of fact, let me fix it. I fixed it to the best of my ability because I can't see my camera or my face in here because my screen is on the back end. But this is my little space, you know, where I do my handstand push up set. For the beginner, all you gotta do is, you know, turn your back towards the camera. <laughs> Put your hand on the ground like this. You can either use this wall or this wall, or you can use the corner, which I guess is to keep it oriented towards you. I'm gonna use the corner. Just go up like so. Know, use the walls to balance yourself and to be comfortable. You 
go down. Come up. Go down. Up, you know. Do your little exercise. Okay. As many as I can do. Only as five. Go by the seat. Ah! I didn't see snout ball. It's easier when I put my back towards the wall. I don't have to focus so much on balance. But there you go. You know what I'm saying? Like this question is from NK Power 21. What's your favorite anime? I got a bunch of fire ones, but Black Clover and Fire Force is underrated. Very true on Fire Force. I just commented that, but I did not know that it was underrated until I started asking people if they watched it and they all said no and they weren't interested. I was like, dude, Fire Force is dope. It's fire as hell. It's literally the name is it's in the name. Fire Force. Like how could you not I'm gonna like answer this in sections? or I have multiple answers. As far as uh, my favorite anime, I think, I really have to think about this now because there's one show in particular that's there that I can't spit out. As far as my most recent favorite, it's gotta be Tokyo Revengers. My boy Takamichi in the last couple of episodes did something that was just so clutch that I just felt to the core of my soul. I was screaming after I seen it. Big ups to Tokyo Revengers. Another show that I want to think of that is like actually my, oh, I can't believe it. Hunter x Hunter, hands down. Greatest anime ever of all time. Better than anything I've ever watched before. This question is from Mom, that kid. My question for the Q&A is, do you have a favorite game series? Jedi Fallen Order at the very top because I've been so consistent with it. I actually love that game. I went back and I played it again so I could get back to the spot that we were at in the gameplay and I just realized how much I enjoyed the game. And I'm also a beast at it now. It's like scary how good I am. My parrying time is impeccable. It's, it's stupid, it's stupid. And I put my power-ups or my skill points into the correct upgrades this time. So my force is like unstoppable. You'll see in the next video. I also really like Sneak Thief, which Sneak Thief is going to be getting an update coming in either August, well, it's August now, but it's either going to come this month or in October sometime. And he released this uh, note about it about last week. So I'm going to be playing that again. So if y'all want to see that, you know, let me know. I mean, I'm still going to play it regardless. But if y'all want to see it, let me know. We got Sith Slayer Alpha. My G, you're a whole motivation. We're taking this to new heights. If not this year, then next for sure. I mean, you know, I'm planning on August being a good month. You know, it's, might be something written in the stars, but you know, shoot, we, we gonna see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What is your dream car? For a long time, it was a car called a Koenigsegg. I really wanted one of those. And I told one of my teachers from when I was in school that one day I was gonna pull up in one of those cars to school just to flex then we got pyro next trying like i don't want to yell because i want to put the enthusiasm into it but my door's open maybe if i shut my door i can yell door shut <coughs> yeah let's go fam never give up bro this is a dream and we live in it just gotta feed it man just feed it break your little kibbles and bits on it your crops all of that just sprinkle it on there. We live in it. Just gotta feed it and eventually it'll grow. He, oh wait, he actually did say that. I was paraphrasing. I just wanted to know what the journey was like from start to making videos to now and your hardest downs and your greatest moments for you personally. I will say the hardest part of it had to, okay. The hardest parts had to do with just me and myself, you know? finding the confidence to get in front of the camera and record first off was a little bit of a challenge, you know, and being confident and learning how to edit. Oh, that was tough. I thought it was easy. <laughs> editing is not easy. No cap. Editing takes time, patience. You have to be sure of what you're doing because if you're not, you're just going to scrap your videos and that's not what you want to do. Another thing that was tough was I felt like for a while my family really didn't support the notion of me making YouTube videos just like anybody would when you have something that you see as you know you being a visionary and something that you see and you understand how it can work but trying to get other people around you people that you feel are necessary to your life to understand that it gets a little bit hard so it was just between me myself and then my family and that was the hardest part, you know, still making videos regardless of that fact. I will say another down that we had, we had a house fire and I didn't realize how like tough 
it was going to be after the fire i thought it was going to be easy i thought we were going to get rid of old stuff get some new stuff get some new flooring and cabinets and then be straight but it ended up not going that way at all we had to like get renovations it took months like almost it took over half of a year it took like eight months for them to finally get things to where the condition was livable it was pretty dang tough and then i also took a chance at me being independent i ended up quitting my work not for youtube or anything like that but i quit my job because i thought i had a way to generate revenue and it was through trading i was trading a lot and i wasn't being so successful i had some wins but most of the time whenever i won stuff i lost stuff and it just left me stagnant you know i didn't grow at all money just stayed the same which is not the goal. So that, that is the biggest down. I having to go back to find a new job and you know, start over, reset from scratch. But hey, every reset is a new beginning and you can only move forward from there. So I just keep on moving. Now I will say my greatest moments is probably, it involves the people that I've met, you know, like D Greg, Dan Roy, Poison Friend 13, Sif Slayer Alpha, Keisha Roll, Primal Ray, which he doesn't post anymore. There was even one dude that I did want to collab with, but I just kept on, you know, having things to do. This was one of those down periods in time, but he added me on Instagram and I still remember him. His name is the littlest YouTuber out there, but he's not really, you know, he doesn't feel as far as his health wise, his health is not in peak condition, which pray for him, you know, pray for him, pray for this man. I hope he gets better because when he does, I actually want to hang out with him. He's pretty freaking cool. Also, Stufu and Tundek, so many different people. Being able to meet them and making friendships with them was some of the greatest parts of doing this, you know? And then I also met Sirento. Sirento's cool as hell too. Just the people that I've met, those are the highlight moments for me. When I form a new connection with someone and I can just hit them up and be like, hey, how you doing? Hope everything's going well. Like, that's really, really cool, you know? When I was growing up, I really didn't have those type of connections because I was a, what do they call that? I'm not gonna say a recluse, but I didn't have a phone. I didn't have Facebook or anything like that. So when it came to people at school, I only had like three close friends, three people that I considered close friends. Now, I did have a source of popularity, but I didn't understand that when I was in school. You know, I got known for building a transformer box it was like a little box that I sat in. I might make one for you guys, maybe for Halloween. Maybe I might show you how to make a cool costume. It's gonna be lit. But it was a transforming box that looked like a Camaro that I just stand up in and it turned into a transformer. That was pretty cool. And then I was in a music video once, that got me some clout, but I didn't know that I had it. I still thought that people seen me as like some kind of nerd or a dweeb or something like that. You know, cause I was, I was kind of a nerd. I was a funny nerd. But when it came to the crowd, I just didn't see myself fitting in with them. But just because you don't fit in doesn't mean that you're weird or antisocial. It just means that you haven't found your social circle just particularly for you that you fit into. And you could also be the type of individual that could change your environment around you to suit yourself and what you desire. So, you know, don't sweat it. If you're talking to people and y'all aren't clicking, that just means that you're not in the proper social setting. You know, you guys are just two different people. And if someone doesn't click with you, don't take it to heart. It's fine, you know, just be you because there's gonna be people that are gonna enjoy you. And even if someone doesn't, or if people don't enjoy you, it's like, enjoy yourself. Who cares? They're not really that important. There's a billion people in the world. Just because one guy or one girl or a group of these guys and girls don't find your frequency attractive, there are gonna be people that do. So, you know, just hold out. Just hold out. In the meantime, just love yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Have a conversation with yourself. I do it all the time. I get to the point to where sometimes I'll just be in the mirror and talk to myself and I'll talk about situations that bother me and it improves my connection to me because you're not only talking to like yourself, but you're also speaking to your soul. And if you have more conversations with yourself, then you'll understand how you feel about things better. And you also will be able to better communicate your feelings because you've already spoken about it before. Get it? So yeah, uh, former connections, greatest moments, greatest ups, getting people to consistently like my uh, videos. I see it, I see it. I get the same number of likes, but it's cool because it's like, yo, these people really frequent my video. They 
hitting that like button every time. That's crazy to me. <laughs> That's crazy to me, dude. That's pretty much it. That's all the questions. Those are all the ones that were questions. There were some that were like, you know, just statements. Like my boy, it's Benny. I see you. I see you, dude. I see you, dog. You know what I'm saying? There's some people in the comment section where I see them comment. I'm like, mm. Yep, and he said, good to see you motivated. Hell yeah, it's good to see you here to witness it. Then I got random games, awesome. Let's keep going, Pog. Pog, ha. <laughs> you know what's funny? Pog Champ was a thing. I was gonna change my name to Og Champ. Not on YouTube, but as like Discord. Relax, relax, don't boo me, relax. I'm not changing my YouTube name. But on Discord, I was gonna make my name Og Champ because Pog Champ. Like bro, it's so much stuff you can do with AUG. It's beautiful. Like it's like the weapon. It's three round burst. Brrr, you know that's all I need to win. It's a three round burst. It's OP. Just like me, overpowered. <laughs> what you mean? And we got my boy Stufu. Got to see it through, my boy. Also, is that a new setup? Yes, it is. I am actually currently in my room because I got it back finally. I carpet cleaned the floor, and you know, now I sleep on it my blanket and stuff you want to see my blanket it's right here it's one of my blankets i got this one but my cat's sleeping on the other one and i don't want to bother her. but yeah boom my blanket Yay! thanks for the comments you guys i really appreciate it thanks for asking questions i really liked answering them i had a lot of fun answering these questions this go around like this is my first q a like this is my first one that's like it that's such a good feeling, bro. Thank you. Thanks for, you know, chatting it up with me. I feel like we had a really good conversation. Um, so we're gonna play Roblox. There have been some people asking for Roblox. This guy in particular. I got you, but I've been juggling stuff. But I got you. Don't worry. I promise you. I promise you. You know that thing they do? Yep. It's written in blood now. It's gotta be done. I don't like saying that, bro. I don't like saying written in blood. Jesus, why did I say that? But well, you guys have a fantastic day. Remember that you are worth it. And choose yourself. You know, you deserve to choose yourself. And I'll explain what that means in another video. But until then, peace. I love you guys. Selena, my visa. It can take as many charges as it needs to, my girl. That shit platinum, just like all of my releases, my girl. Niggas come for me, I tell them all the pieces, my girl. I'ma show your sexy ass what relief is, my girl. Please don't take no shit that's not that how you geeking. And I'm not driving nothing that I gotta stick the keys in. Wonder how I got this way, I swear I got the bitches calling my phone like I'm locked up, nonstop.